Hello, this is Lauren Church here, a lead consultant, and my director, superstar director, is Larissa Noel, and our team is Butterfly Sensations. I joined Sensi last May, but I really started working the business in August, and I learned so many things, techie and digital type stuff, and I'm still learning. I still have a ton of things to learn, but I discovered Canva. I did try several, but Canva was the funnest and easiest for me to use. I use it on my laptop and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, jump right in, show you a few easy ways to use it. Let me find it here and here we go. So here is the Canva homepage. First of all, I wanna say that I did try it free for a while, but I went ahead and I joined with a paid membership and it was $119.99 for a year. That equals to $9.99 a month. Now I could afford that, not everybody can. So a little while ago, my team decided they wanted to join together as a team and everybody pull their money in. So that is a great way to get everybody in on Canva and enjoy all the benefits of it at a very small price. But remember, you can use it free as well. So let me go ahead to start creating a design. So there are many design choices that you have. You can do a Facebook post, which is what I do most of the time. A Facebook cover, which is what I use for parties, for online parties. Here's Instagram posts. And you can convert Facebook post to Instagram post when you're downloading. Um, I do use YouTube thumbnails because I decided to start a little YouTube channel for my Sensi. And you could do posters, presentations, all kinds of things. So when you do make something like a poster, a business card, you could also um, pay place an order and pay and have them send you this stuff. I haven't had to do that because I have learned how to print these things myself. But let's go ahead and start with a Facebook post. So I thought um, for this, I would do something really simple. I thought, hmm, what can I show? So let's say I wanted to show some bath products in a party or online. I went ahead and downloaded from the my personal workstation some bath items. So over here on the side is where you do all your work. Super easy. So I'm going to go to upload. Since I want to do a few bath products and I want to show them off, I'm going to go to upload media. And these pictures right here I got from the my personal website. I just upload them, click on them, and they will upload right onto your uploaded media. The next thing I want to do, because this is for bath products, I go to photo. I've already saved a photo here, but I wanted to show a couple of things on how easy it is. Since I am showing bath products, I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to show a bathtub uh, with the products around it. So I put in bathtub, hit enter, and all kinds of pictures of bathtubs come up. So for my purposes, I kind of want like a clear or a light background. Didn't spell it right. So I could pick something like this. That one I don't want. It's too small for what I want. Um, I initially had chosen this one, and it's really easy. You pull the corners up to fit your post, but I decided once I started doing it, I didn't want this. So you could either hit this back button up on top here to undo, or you can hit the trash button to empty it on out. For the purposes of this post, I've chosen this bathtub. This way, your customers can picture themselves in a nice bathtub with cool products. So before I go on, 
One very important thing is compliance. We have to be very compliant with our pictures and we have to put our logo on to the pictures, to um, whatever we're posting. What's great about Canva is you down here on the side towards the bottom is a place where you can put logos in. So you can upload your logos. And I downloaded the 2022 compliant logos onto my computer and I simply clicked on upload, went down here, clicked on my logo, hit open, and there it does, it downloads it. So I, I'm not gonna put the logo on there quite yet because there's rules about logos. So I'm going to my uploads and I wanna put my three bath products onto the picture of the bathtub. So I just clicked once and it came up on over here by the bathtub and I wanna make it smaller. And I wanna set this maybe on the ledge of the bathtub. I'm gonna make this smaller, put it over here on the side and put this one here as well. Make it smaller. Then I wanna put some words here. So I'm gonna pick text. This is where you can write things. And what I find very fun is you can make the text any way you want. You can choose from a pool of texts and use that or you can choose your own. Today, I'm gonna to choose my own. I'm not gonna make a big giant one or a little small one. I am going to make a medium sized text. I'm gonna move it up here because this is where I want to put my text. And then I'm gonna choose whatever text I want up here on the top. I'm gonna to pick Mixa today. And you see how it changed that. And I'm also going to pick a different color. My color is going to coordinate with, with, with the coconut daiquiri colors there. So what's nice about Canva is it will pull up all the corresponding colors to the colors that you have already placed there. Or you can go down here and choose your own colors. But I'm going to go ahead and try to match it up with the picture, I'm going to pick that one. I'm also, I want the words to stand out. So I'm going to bold it up and I'm going to write in there, enjoy bath time with Scentsy bath products. If I could spell things right, that would be nice. So you see how it goes, it goes down into the bathtub, but what you can do is stretch the words out. Move them over a little, or make them smaller so that they could fit better. And there you have the words. I'm gonna move this over so the words can be more viewable. Now we get into our compliance section. So I will go back down to my logos and I can choose this one. Now it has the checkerboard in the background. And even if it didn't, you can hit edit image up here. I keep saying hit, I probably should say click. Click on erase and it erased the background. Pull this down here, small enough to fit and be in compliance. You have to have so many um, inches or centimeters space around it so that it's easily viewable. Or take this out, we can use this one. Add it, remove the background. And we are not to change the colors, that's one of the rules. Make it smaller, pull it over. And it's viewable and there's nothing around it so everybody can see it. 
that's in compliance. Another way for compliance is text. I do this one a lot and simply type in independent sensi consultant. That you can't see that one very well, so I'm going to make it bold. Double click to highlight it all, make it bold, stretch it out, make it smaller. There's a lot of room around it. It's not mixed up with anything else. And I would like to add one more thing to this picture to make it a little bit more fun. I'm going to go to elements. I am going to put in the words coconut daiquiri and pick one of these, make it small so that they're in the bathtub and it looks like they have a coconut daiquiri with them. And there you go. There's your compliant picture. We've got three pictures. Enjoy bathtub with Sensi bath products. We have a little coconut daiquiri right there. We have the independent Sensi consultant there. Then we can click this arrow up here for download. And then it will download on to wherever you need to grab it from to post it on Facebook. So that is the simple way to use Canva. Um, one other thing I'd like to show you, let me go back to the home page. If I wanted to create another design, an easy way if you are in a hurry and you wanna do a Facebook post, let's say you wanted to do those bath products, you can go to templates that are already made, kind of look down here, see what you want to pick. Let's just say I want to do a spring bathtub product. I'll just pick a pre-made. I will take, I will just click on there, enjoy bath time with Sensi oops, bath products. Sorry, you could go up here and make that smaller. So their lettering is already there because let's say you're in a hurry, you're doing a party, move this butterfly over. You can get that out of there, go to your uploads. Oops, pull in your bath products. Make it so they can be seen. And don't forget your logo. Wait, I might want to move this down a little bit. Oh, look at this is so cute. The bath products are in the grass for springtime. Go to logos. Maybe move this up just a little. And there you go. A pre-done template over here in the template section. And you're showing off some bath products in a cute little spring type way. You can download it here. And then you're ready to put it on your Facebook page, Instagram page, wherever you need to put it. Anyways, I do hope that was helpful. Um, and. I think that's it. Enjoy.